I pray that this post finds you feeling exceptionally well, in good spirits, life is great, your health is superlative, and that your smile is wide. Today, I would like to share what it was like for me um, when it came to my mother's music after she died. And what I mean by that is that, you know, when our parents are alive, for those of us who've lost our parents, um, as you know, your life changes completely after one or both of them are gone. And you experience things that you never would have imagined, have imagined you would experience. And you grow up in ways that you had no idea were even possible. And when my mom passed away, I became very numb. I was going through the motions. I was a facsimile avatar of myself. I felt like I was shot out of a cannon. There was so much going on <clears throat> that I, I didn't have time to grieve. I didn't know that uh, that's what I was doing. Uh, and it was just a huge transformative period. Like an explosion had taken place and parts of me were everywhere. And the one particular aspect of that period that I want to share today with you is the fact that when I would go places, let's say I'd be in an airport, just to use one example, or even an elevator, and my mother's music would come on. It was one thing to have that happen when she was alive. It was quite another to have that happen when she was dead especially right after she had died. I grieved for five years. What I do remember is that the moment would just freeze for me. Wherever I was, I would just freeze. And I think I would look up and my eyes would close and I felt like time just ceased to exist. Meanwhile, everyone around me whether they're going in and out of the elevator, whether they're going to and from wherever they're going to or coming from in an airport or what have you, that seemed to speed up. And my heart would start beating really fast. Um, and it was just really a very jarring, sobering, unexpected experience. And it can happen anywhere, you know. A restaurant, supermarket, in the mall, in someone's car, especially if I was in a taxi or something. Um, and uh, since then, you know, I, I, I do recall like the, the journey that I've taken with regards to that particular experience um, through the years. It got to the point where at one point I would stop and listen to say, okay, what is, what song is this? Is there a message in it for me? You know? Um, and then I reached a point where I would smile when I, I would always stop. <laughs> I still stopped. That didn't change. And I would smile and be like, hi, mom. You know? Now I just kind of keep going and, uh, it's always there. It's, it's a nice uh, feeling. The volume has gone down. I don't feel the need to stop anymore. I keep going. But I do smile inside and I do acknowledge her. Um, and, uh, but it has been a journey. You know, she died in 2003, so it's been 18 years. Time does indeed heal all wounds. And it's good to talk about it with you here right now and to feel good in the ability to share um, that aspect of that part of the healing process with regards to um, 
you know, losing my mother with you on this post today. So offer me up your comments as always. You know the drill. Hit that like button. <laughs> Subscribe. Check out my website, lisasimonemusic.com. From my heart to yours. Ciao.